and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We're going to be playing some fun decks today. We have four donation decks we've been saving up here for meme tier Monday. And honestly, we have a couple of more to do also. So tomorrow uh, we're going to be having some meme tier Tuesday as well. Plus, as y'all know, tomorrow Tuesday is going to be the new patch notes that we'll know patch 1.4 they'll let us know what they're going to be changing and everything for wednesday so it's going to be a good time to be playing some meme tier decks also all right so we're starting with a deck that uh i have not ever played before well we did just play one little practice game but uh we're gonna be playing an infinite mushroom combo okay so how it works um uh, we have basically our, our decks filled with like defensive elements and card draw but then we have some combo. So we need a Puff Cap Peddler in play so that whenever we cast a spell, we plant three Poison Puff Caps in the enemy deck. And then we need a Cloud Drinker in play. So all of our burst spells cost one less. And then we need to Dawn and Dusk the Cloud Drinker so that we just get two more uh, Cloud Drinkers so that all of our burst spells will cost one less three times because we'll have three Cloud, cloud Drinkers. Um, we could technically just cast three Cloud Drinkers, but it's a lot easier if you just play one Dawn and Dusk on it. So if, if we do that, then we have three Cloud Drinkers in, in play. So then all of our burst spells cost three less. And then we can play Vault Breaker that costs three mana. We can, we can play that for zero. And uh, we just give an ally plus two plus zero. It creates another one, a fleeting one. And so we can just continually play it and just create a new one and it costs zero and you can play it as much as you want. So we can just keep doing that, um, play it infinitely. Each time that we cast a spell, we put three puff caps on the uh, on random cards in the enemy deck and eventually they'll just have thousands of puff caps after we just play it over and over and then they draw um, their card and it has 20 puff caps and the die. <laughs> they'll probably concede once we start playing a whole bunch of vault breakers, but yeah, that's that's the plan. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, you know, we can we can get like some chip damage in with other things, and you know maybe we can get like a Teemo in here, and we suit up Teemo as a four four and hit them a bunch with a big Teemo. Uh, you know, like we could maybe win. You know, scratch out some wins some other ways. But that's going to be our main combo that we're looking to achieve. All right, so here we go. We're going to just go play five games. Just playing games in normal. I mean, normal decks are still good, but uh, with our memes here Monday chat vote on we're doing we're doing normal and uh gonna have some fun hopefully we can pull off the combo once that's the goal really hope we can pull it off at least once uh, but it's not an easy one to pull off you have to have a three mana unit in play and a six mana unit in play and then dawn and dusk the six mana unit without them using removal and then continually use vault breakers without them still using removal not an easy proposition all right, well, I love how we have turn one Teemo attacking with that. Uh, we do have the Claws of the Dragon, uh, Key Guardian. What's up, Silky Mitts? We have that combo right there. Um, I'm going to mulligan this Vault Breaker. And by this combo, I mean, like, if we if you play some kind of, like, cheap spell, and then you play Key Guardian, you can get a surprise 3-2 barrier blocker that they won't realize you'll have but it may not work we'll see opponents playing a real aggressive deck mm. I wish I could play this suit up on this Teemo I wish I wish So I blocked the 1-1 one, one with the 3-2 because it will stay alive and it will be able to block again. So instead of just blocking Precious Pet immediately, we can take out the... We take one additional point of damage and then we can um, have that block a second time. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. 
We'll Key Guardian that. We'll Key Guardian this. And we level up our Teemo. Well, that's pretty awesome. Block that, block that. You can go block this. And you can block that. He's a fun guy. Yeah, this is... That is something that I don't think I've ever done before. Like, that's the first time I've ever done that. Have two... Two of those. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Two burst speed blockers. Um, as three twos with barriers. <laughs> Immediate surrender on that block. Yeah, that wasn't the combo we were looking for, but that was a pretty crazy combo there. <laughs> Not the combo we were looking for, but... Alright, well that's three out of the four parts of our combo. Um... Again, aggressive deck. I don't know if we need to keep all of them. Maybe we mulligan these two and try to draw into them later. And try to find some defensive stuff first. There we go. That's good defensive stuff first. And turn one Teemo. Good mulligan. Oh, yeah. That would have been great against that Zed. Yeah, we... Our practice game, our opponent went turn. They went turn one Omen Hawk, uh, turn two Green Glade Duo, turn three Zed. There was a four three, and they were attacking turn three with the Zed four three Zed, and that was mean. But yeah, barrier, barrier blocker, surprise blocker. That would've been great. Teemo. No, Timo. Okay, okay. Making the dead deader. That doesn't even make sense. What are you doing? You can't, Senna. You you can't make the dead deader. They're already dead. You don't make any sense, Senna. My gun has been talking. You cannot escape. <laughs> Decisive, you had 2006 mushrooms in a 17 card deck, and they pulled 103. <laughs> Is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Shadow Assassin should be attacking. Ugh. Man, they have the mana for Grizzled Ranger and Repost. Yuck. I need a key guardian. It's not a key guardian. The dragon binds us. Hmm. The order rewards its faithful. Still not a key guardian. Go ahead. <sighs> hmm. I could rummage away one deep meditation, but I don't really want to rummage away both. I kind of want to play rummage. 
I don't have anything else to discard unless I discard the Peddler. I mean, I discard the Claws of the Dragon? Like, I don't think I discard Eye of the Dragon, because I think I want the two on Lifesteal. I guess it's Claw of the Dragon. Ugh. No, because then the whole point of me doing this is to get a Claw of the Dragon and play. Is it Peddler? Block here. I think they have another might, how they use that might pretty aggressively. They probably have another one. Okay. Getting close to the combo. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, we got the whole combo. But we gotta survive another turn before we can pull it off. Unfortunately, we're not going to gain any life, but it still makes sense to attack. Like we stay the same life total, but it just makes sense to turn their Crimson Disciple from being a 2-3 into a 2-1. Let me show you. Their last card being another Might. Um, I am super glad they they did that. They, they probably should have Mighted this and killed my Cloud Drinker, but I'm, I'm very glad they didn't kill the Cloud Drinker. Uh, right now, so we played one spell. I'm going to play another spell, even though I have to get rid of part of the combo. And so I guess if I have to get rid of one of these three combo cards, I'm going to get rid of the Peddler because there's two other Peddlers in the deck. There's only one other Vault Breaker and one other Dawn and Dusk. There's two other Peddlers. Smart. I guess I could have just cast a Ghost. Maybe I should have just done that. Sorry, Timo. Another day in the field. I'm sorry, Timo. Well, I was hoping they were going to attack with both, right? And then we'd have Timo block and have the life steal also. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. They grow up so fast. Mm. I 
played one spell so far. Oh no! Wait. I have too many things in play. We gotta attack first. Get this draggling out of here. Alright, please don't kill me. Please don't just draw it. You know, Blade's Edge. Okay, good. Alright, come on, work. Get the combo. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's go to Teemo. Pump up, Teemo. GG. That's what I assume is going to happen, is once we start playing, people will just be like, okay, or like once we start doing that, people will just give up. Oh, I have a, I have a challenge unit? We're not really challenging units. Let's see if we go change that quest. Reroll. Nah. All right, well, so we'll do that. All right, infinite mushrooms. There we go. Got the combo. Got the combo. Awesome. We're two and zero. Oh. Okay. Uh, this hand seems reasonable. I could mulligan this deep meditation. It's expensive. Um, yeah, it's not like Investigator is really that great. No, suit up. Nothing like the great outdoors. We need to draw you on turn two. We're not doing a very good job of suiting up Teemo. So nice. Can see the Just gives the opponent mushrooms. Instead of having to go spend like five dollars at the store to buy a pack of mushrooms, Timo's just like, here you go. It's so nice. Just giving them a one mana five five. I'll recite your rights. They walk the road. Armed and ready. Which I think wasn't a 6 4 for my Claws of the Dragon. Have a mushroom. Have three. But we also have the suit up that can turn something into a 4 4. So now I can go, you know, Key Guardian suit up, have the surprise barrier blocker, and have a surprise 4 4. Pass back to me. They grow up so fast. And we will 
will suit up the investigator thing. Rain from a cloudless sky. Spring is not pity winter. Yeah, I'll just take the three. I don't I don't think we need to block and save one life. And risk anything. The time is right. Strike now. Hey Jack, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play some we're gonna be playing a Poro deck up next. Why not health pot and suit up the barrier? We couldn't we couldn't do both of those like that. And health potion doesn't didn't really work with anything we just had. Uh Okay, well there's there's the rest of the combo. Alright, so we just gotta stay alive this turn. Which is easier said than done. But we just have to have them not kill me this turn. me going to four. That's even safer. Uh, I don't understand some of these questions. Uh, yeah, ranked rewards are only the icons. It looks like that's the only rewards for ranked, um, as far as we know, uh, which is yet yeah, definitely kind of a letdown that that's the only rewards, but that's what it looks like. I'll lead us to victory. Um, we better watch the full team up so you don't care about Archer dying anyway. Yes, but I don't want like. It's a that's a very obvious like blocking the four four with the Teemo is just a very obvious block that um, so, like something weirds going on. I don't want to make it that easy on like I don't I don't want to make it that obvious for the opponent that something weirds going on kind of thing. Or, uh, um, no, I do not, Daniel. Yeah, Coaling Strike's a problem. Like, that's that's the only thing that stops us right now is Coaling Strike. So, like, it's not like we we definitely win. I can't stop Coaling Strike. We don't have any denies. Um, I guess I guess I could kind of stop Coaling Strike with Vault Breaker. You gotta believe me! <clears throat> and it's nice that we can play two of these so even if they have frostbite uh, okay it's like they could have had I guess if they if they went coaling strike first and then frostbite 
you know, like, and then, you know, then we do Vault Breaker, then they Frostbite it, then we would have been in trouble. All right, and it's Burst. So it doesn't really matter what we target. And here we go, Infi Mushrooms. Infi Mushrooms. Do we have the Teemo emote? Yes. Should I play the other peddler? Okay, I was about to do that. I was about to play the other peddler. <coughs> and double the shrooms. But yeah, they should just concede. Wow, we pulled off the combo twice. They did not have the culling strike. Our infinite mushroom deck. Yeah, so like, yeah, they they have no out. Like they're they're just dead. <laughs> so yeah, they just just concede because they have no out. Because I'll just do that enough until it's like guaranteed that their top card is gonna have enough. Um, do we want rummage? I'm gonna keep these two. I'm not sure if I should keep rummage or not. Uh, I'll just say not. Well, we got rummage anyway. Glad we didn't keep the first rummage. I don't I don't know the SI infinite combo, Luchi, that you're talking about. Or they, you're asking me if I can do it, you'd have to tell me what it is. Yeah, just me. I don't know. The chat chat voted on doing playing in normal, uh, not in ranked. It's not like we're playing against worse decks in, in normal. Like you know, like we just played against like the Ash Sejuani deck. Like this is deep. It's not. Like, it's not like there's really much difference at all between normal and ranked. To be honest, like there's really not. Rummage away a Vi and a Rummage. But I'm just going to keep the spell mana for right now. That could be something that we could do. Okay. Well, we don't really need to. So yeah, let's just keep the spell mana because... Having, you know, Vi can turn into Vault Breaker for us, so now we have the combo. We have Cloud Drinker, we have Dawn and Dusk, we have Vault Breaker. So now we have the combo. Oh, and there's regular Vault Breaker for us. You notice I didn't attack, because they, like, passed priority, because they, they probably wanted to play, like, Maokai or play something after, after I challenged with Vi. But I just don't even care to challenge with Vi. That's not what our deck's about. Oh. 
Hey, Dante. The dragon binds us. All right, Dawn and Dusk, Cloud Drinker. Is there? Should I pass priority first? Or just go for it? I mean, I'm just gonna go for it. No. Probably should cast zero mana rummage and got rid of the suit up in the other rummage. So I could have passed priority and just see if they, you know, like if I passed, they probably like they probably would have just played Nautilus, right? And then I could have untapped and did it. So like, was pass the smart play? Certainly thought about pass. Pass was probably the smart play. I can't have set an enemy to 4-4. Four, four. Shouldn't have used that mana. That was bad because that put me to 11 mana. I need I need to not use that mana so I could have had 12 mana. So if we would have drawn Cloud Drinker, I could have cast Cloud Drinker and Dawn and Dusk. So that was just a mistake by me. See, they just passed there. I wonder. If, that's why I wonder if they would have done the first time if I would have just passed with the Cloud Drinker. If they would have just untapped. Well, I wish I would have passed. Because uh, they had the Vengeance. Not everybody plays a Vengeance in that deck, but most people play one Vengeance, one Ruination. And that's kind of like what they had for the removal there, is one Vengeance, one Ruination. Most likely. Um, but they had it.
Yeah, I mean, the deck could have a, a deny. You could definitely have a deny in this kind of deck. Uh, it's not always easy to be able to go for it um, with deny backup, you know, mana-wise. Nope. Officer J.S. Hawkjaw, Unit 6. Alright, definitely going to wait until we have 5 mana before I play this Teemo, so I can have the Teemo and have suit up afterwards. We don't, we don't need Will of Ionia, that doesn't, Will of Ionia doesn't really help us. We're not playing any removal at all. Oh yeah, oh my yeah. My opponent's name is. I was con I was really confused what y'all were talking about. Yeah, my opponent's name is very similar to mine. I guess so. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. I don't think I'm gonna be just going for the Teemo suit up much at all. Wish we could actually attune. I you know, wish we had like three and two and we could attune. So if I if I play Teemo, they go static shock. Like that's the only reason why they do that, right? Is because of static shock. being very careful, but they probably just have tons and tons of removal over there. And they're probably just sitting on lots and lots of removal. And there's the Static Shock. Wow. 
Ow. Taking all seven. So they're gonna get a draggling, I'm gonna get a draggling as well. Yeah, this is... I've been kind of thinking that too. I, I kind of feel like just... Like basically since the beginning, I've definitely felt like this seems like this is going to be a difficult matchup for us to win. We do have... Um, all sorts of removal and answers for everything. I don't think we're I don't think we're ever gonna be able to combo. I think we have to just kinda just try to win on like giving them a whole bunch of puff caps with these peddlers. I think the peddlers are gonna be the key to victory. Um they discarded one deny. I don't actually want to be drawing Cloud Drinkers. Wish I had a rummage, still rummage those away. Rummage two of them away. Sweet. Vault Breaker. I said sweet because they bounced that thing and not Puff Cat Peddler, and Puff Cat Peddler is a lot better than that thing. Do I think Chumpwump over Suit Up is better? Eh, maybe. Chumpwump would make Rummage better, that's for sure. four puff caps right now. I don't have space for a draggling. I 
I could I could just give them let's see five eight eleven and then go investigator and have you draw another one um, I think I'm gonna wait on that though and instinct is no substitute for planning oh yeah maybe I should just cast vault the vaulting again and just give him six puff caps that could have been the play heart and mind as one I only speak through me Fortunately, we're probably dead. We need more room. So I'm thinking maybe we can like dawn and dusk our veteran investigator if like other things die. Okay, never mind. We're just dead. Rummage. Rummage away these things. Draw 13 puff caps. One. Five. We need 13. Draw seven. They could draw seven. They drew seven! Let's go! They could draw seven. Let's go! That was awesome. Cause yeah, they're down. They're down on mana. <laughs> they're down on mana. And I want obviously like so. I could have waited. Like the problem with waiting is maybe they just don't attack. Um, but obviously, if they do attack, I'd be able to like block with something and be able to clear up another spot and then have two things. But then they would have also gone to nine because they would have gained two life with the other with the other thing. But um, yeah, so just in case they didn't attack, thought I had to do it right then because they may have just untapped. And then had like more, and then uh, got the extra mana, and then have more burst uh, spells to kill me. So felt like we had to go for it because um, the the chance that they just don't attack is too high. All right, so four one with Infi mushrooms. Uh, yeah, just a, a real fun deck to play, and uh, you know, somewhat competitive. I wouldn't say this is necessarily the best deck or anything but it's definitely you know you could definitely win games of this deck it's definitely competitive and uh that's all you really want with your meme tier decks you want them to be competitive um and yeah we got to pull off the combo multiple times we got two games with the combo so that was awesome um yeah really cool really cool deck uh yeah thanks wakanda really cool deck uh any changes i don't know like like I've said, it's it'd be nice to have some removal, but I kind of understand that you can't really fit removal in. Um, 
people have talked about having chump lump in here to be able to get the mushroom clouds mushroom clouds you can cast like that chump lump will help you play a straight up game better be able to get you even more puff caps with peddler um help out your rummages and so I could see that, um, and they're saying maybe that over suit up. I could see that, but suit up honestly was really good for us. I have to, I can't complain about suit up. Like whether it was making something, being able to block ash before, or having things survive removal spells, uh, and also just you know being more spells for peddler, and being another spell for your two spells a turn for like your eye of the dragon and stuff. Like I can't really complain about suit up. And I'm not that big of a fan of Investigator, but obviously I can't complain about Investigator whenever it won us that last game. Uh, I would have to say, the so probably the card that seems the silliest is the Ghost. Even though I, I understand, like, the, the one Ghost is supposed to be, like, where you can Ghost a Cloud Drinker. Or you Ghost something, and then you Dawn and Dusk, and you make a bunch of Ephemerals, and you can hit them for a bunch with a bunch of Ephemerals. It seems kind of silly. Um, and yeah, but yeah, you could Ghost Vi and get a bunch of damage in with that. Yeah, that's true also. So like it it can do some stuff, I suppose. I'm not sure if that's better than Chump Womp. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can get some surprise kills. And I guess surprise kills are definitely useful. So I shouldn't complain about it too much. Um, you think Chump's better than Health Potion, Rummage... Veteran Investigator and Suit Up. I don't know. I like all those cards. You need you need like your cheap spells with your Eye of the Dragon, Claw of the Dragon, Key Guardian combo. Investigator definitely looked good. I'm not sold it's better than any of those cards. But I wouldn't mind having Chump Wumps. Chump Wumps are good. So... Yeah, it's true. You do get your cheap spells from Chump Wump also with your Mushroom Clouds. Ugh. I didn't, like, feel like I needed Chump Wumps, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. That's Infinite Mushrooms. Pretty awesome start to Meme Tier Monday. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know uh, if you tried the deck out. What do you think? Uh, you know, do you get to to pull the combo off anything like that um you know uh do you prefer chump wump over anything else uh yeah feel free to uh leave those comments but anyway thank you so much for watching some infinite mushrooms and i'll see you for the next video